Hey boys and girls, I just wanted to go over some of the um, handwriting that I'm seeing. We kind of need to be practicing a little bit more and understanding you're doing a great job on your individual letters, but putting those letters together to create words, there are a couple mistakes that I'm noticing we're making. So I want us to look at this together. One of the things that we do in cursive handwriting, we do not always, if we have a letter that stops at this dotted line at your middle point, of your um, handwriting line, you do not always have to come back to the floor to start your next letter. And that's where a lot of us are trying to do that. For example, if my um, word was boat, and you can go ahead and trace this with me. You can use your finger, you can use the eraser end of your pencil or um, anything like that to trace with. Just make sure you're not using a writing end of anything, okay? Just something soft. Um, if I'm writing the word boat, we know my B is going to start down here. You can trace it with me. We kind of make that L loop, bring it in and give it a belly. Okay, now right here, I'm going to go into my O. Now, some of you are trying to go from your B down to the floor to start your O. But since I am at my halfway mark, I can go into, come off my B and go straight into my O. And remember, when we go to our O, we just go stopping point. Come back around. Same thing from here. I don't have to come down to the floor to go into my A. I'm at my midway point, so I can go straight into my A. Now, my A ended at the floor, so I can do my normal rule and go from the floor straight into my T, okay? And cross. Now, I want you to trace this with me so you can feel how this should do. I want you to trace with this marker. Okay, ready? We're gonna start here at our starting point. We're gonna go B, we're gonna make our loop, come down. Then we're gonna go in and give it a belly, go straight over into the O, come around, over into the A, come around. Then we go up, touch the top for the T, back down. Then at the end of the word, you go back and cross your letters. Okay, does that make sense? Another word we do this with is off. Off also does that. We know our O, we're gonna start at the floor, go into our O. Okay, now my O has stopped at my dotted line. So, I want you to think about it. Am I gonna go straight into my F or am I gonna come down to the floor? If I come down to the floor, that's gonna make this look an awful lot like an A. We go straight into that F, okay? Give it that loop and it's little monkey tail, okay? And I know there's some space here that normally would not be, but it's because of the rule that we came from that dotted line, okay? Now I can go into, because the F has come to the bottom, I can go straight into my cursive F, give it a belly and a tail, okay? And I know that that looks a little different. These two Fs both look different, but they are both correct because of the rule. This came off of my O, so it had to pick up at that dotted line. This one came off of the ground, so it can go straight into the normal F, okay? Let's trace this one together. Get your pencil or your finger or from your eraser on your pencil, not your sharp end, okay? And then let's trace this. We're gonna start here. We're gonna go around, stopping point, come back around. Perfect O. Okay, now we're gonna go into the F straight over and up into our F, bring it down, okay? Then we can go into our normal F, bring it down, around, and give it a tail, okay? Let's do one more that we do this on. Let's do coast, okay? Coast. Now, we know our C is gonna start at the floor, go around, come back around, go into your O, same way. Around, back around. Uh-oh, my O stopped at that dotted line. So I don't have to come to the floor to go to my A. I can go straight over to my A, then my S, and T. And make sure T touches that top line, then go back and cross over, okay? See how that was a little different, how we didn't have to come to the floor to start that A? That's what we're talking about, okay? Let's trace it together. Get your pencil's eraser or your finger. We're gonna trace this C around, come back. Do that same motion for the O. Come around, come back. Now, 
I'm at my dots, so I can go straight over into my A. A. Then I'm going to put my S, remember that belly, straight to the top, down. Now you go back, cross your T. Okay? I hope that's making some sense. I know this is different, and it's a little harder. Let's do the word old. Old. O-L-D. I'm going to start with O. Start at the bottom. Go around. Come back. Uh-oh. Got to go into my L. Now, I'm stopping at the dotted line so I can pick up at the dotted line and go into the L. Then, go into the D just like normal. See the difference? Let's trace it together. Ready? Starting point. Let's go around. Good. Now we're going to go into the L. Straight over, down, and then the D. Over, around, touch that top line, back down with a tail. Okay? Let's do one more. Let's do, um, let's do plot, plot. Now my P will start down here at the bottom. P, trace back around, there's my P. Then go into my L, go into my O, come around, stop, back around. All right, my O is stopping at the dotted line, so that means I can go straight into my T with a tail. Go back and cross. And yeah, that looks different than our normal T, but we followed our rule. Since this stopped here, I can go straight into that T, okay? All right, let's trace it together. Get your finger ready. Here we go. Let's start from here. P, around. Good job. Now go straight into your L. Just makes a pretty little loop. We're going to go around for the O. Come back and touch that starting point. Then we can go straight into the T because the O stopped on that dotted line. Great job. Okay, good job boys and girls. If you have watched this video and you traced along with me, then right now you can get your handwriting assignment and you can complete that workbook page that will practice some of these letters like we just discussed. Do your best.